Hi, welcome. Today we're going to do a review on the Nerf Zombie Strike Hammer Shot. Super sweet blaster. Before we get into that, if you don't, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you like the video or any videos I make, please hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel, helps us grow. With all that out of the way, into the review. So this is the Hammer Shot. This here, it does have one rail on the top. It has a sling mount here. I guess this is a sling. I don't know. I think it's just made that way because Zombie Strike's kind of unique and it's, you know, it's got all the different things on it. And it just, it's supposed to be, look like something you threw together. Zombie apocalypse, I guess. But this one here and here. So you could, you could, you could put something there. And that's really it. I mean, it's a hammer. This is a hammer shot for good reason. There's your hammer. And here's your trigger. Now, this one, I don't know if they're all this way, so I want to have. It, the trigger is super duper, super duper sensitive. So, if you keep your finger in here, which in a real gun you generally wouldn't, but it's just nerf. So, I tend to do. And whenever you, you prime this back, that trigger is so super hair trigger. A lot of times it shoots <laughs> before I can even get it, that, the hammer all the way back. Because it's super duper -y, as you can see right there. Just barely touched that thing. So we'll go ahead and put one back in there. Just make that known. I don't know if it's just this one. But <laughs> super duper sensitive. So I've got it loaded up right now. Got your whole five shots. I've got it loaded up and we're gonna run across the chronograph. <clears throat> and it does have this super sweet audible sound. I'll have to wait till it's empty. Here we go. We're gonna run across the chronograph and I'll load it up with some uh, Wolf and Dark here in a minute. So there's 61, 69, 61, 58, and 57. Sorry, around 60. That's not too bad. It's got a super sweet sound to it. Like an old six shooter, which I guess is what they were going for. I don't know. All right, let's see what kind of waffles we got here. So, here's the loading procedure you just load her up right through the front. We got some adventure for us. Uh, we'll get rid of that one. One dirt zone that's a cheapy. All right, there we go. So, I will step back just a little bit and we will uh, we'll shoot the target here. Not very far, but it'll give you an idea. Like I said, I think it's pretty accurate. And it's super spinnable. So that that concludes the uh, the review of the the hammer strike or the hammer shot. Uh, I really like this. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of zombies, so it doesn't matter if it's a piece of crap or not. I'm gonna like it. But some of them function really well and some of them don't. This one actually functions really well. If, you, if you're a fan of Hammer Shot, this is pretty powerful. But it's not too powerful that using in your house or kids have it, it's not going to hurt them. Because like you've seen it, 67 is about, about as high as it goes. But it averages around 60. So this is really good for in the house. It's not going to tear up nothing. And uh, I don't know, this is coolness factor. I mean, that's cool. It's a hammer shot. So, hopefully that helps you out in your decisions if you see these, or maybe you just want to buy one, because you can still you can still buy these. You can buy different variants of this. Um, if if you if you like the hammer the hammer prime type blasters, no matter what they are, um, I recommend this one. Like I said, I've got a few, and this one's probably by far more powerful than most that I have, just because of the way it's designed. So, hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.